In the first two episodes, my girlfriend and I spent time in a school in Surabaya, did a sunrise tour to see and hike on the volcano Mont Bromo and see one of the most beautiful waterfalls. A few days later, we decided to visit another famous Indonesian volcano, Kawa Ijen. Good morning. Currently, midnight 30, and we just woke up at midnight to go to Ijen, the volcano. <coughs> it's really humid. It's really humid, yeah. It rained a lot and we tried to sleep for two hours, which was not very successful. This is the smallest hotel Kia <coughs> ever had. <laughs> and we're going to our driver now. He texted us that he's here. We'll see you later. By the way, I guess this is a new vlog, so welcome to the new vlog. Bye. It's really humid because it rained. You just said it. I did? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, see you later. Ijen is an active volcano known for its blue fire, acidic crater lake and sulfur mining. The volcano is situated on the very east of Java and its highest point reaches 2,769 meter. <laughs> Does my backpack look, look normal? <laughs> yes. Our overnight hike started from a cafe where we met our guide Cholili and where we received a gas mask and a headlamp. And lights. At this point, we had no idea what was waiting for us. We started hiking up at 2 a.m. for about two hours until we reached the rim of the crater. Hello guys, it sticks like rotten egg farts. <laughs> On the way up, we could start smelling the sulfur, which has a strong rotten egg smell and also makes you cough. <laughs> we hiked for like, how long did we hike for now? Like for now? One hour? Maybe one hour. And we have a bit less than an hour to go to reach the top. It's very steep, quite exhausting, but excited to see the blue fires. <laughs> That's really one o'clock? Yeah. From there we hiked down the crater for about 45 minutes without really seeing where we were heading since it was still the middle of the night. We finally reached the bottom where we were welcomed by huge smoke clouds. The gas was so strong that we needed to wear our masks at all times and even with it it still burned our throats and eyes. Oh, this is burning. But then we saw it, the famous blue fire. This phenomenon can only be observed in two places in the world, here in Indonesia and in Ethiopia. And we were lucky to have it in front of our eyes. <laughs> Staying down there was quite overwhelming. I felt as if my body was telling me to leave this place. When a huge gas cloud would move towards us, the guys were telling everyone to stay calm. And we had to close our eyes and try not to breathe, which was quite scary. We didn't stay too long and quickly started to hike back up, which took us another hour until we reached the rim while the sun was rising. <laughs> I hope it clears up and then we can see the view. It's exhausting. Too long, too long. 5.35 <coughs> We're coughing like this because of the sulfur gases if you're wondering That's why they gave us this mask My throat pain was doing better I'm afraid it might fuck it, it up again It burns everything Throat, eyes We were down there We didn't talk down there because we couldn't hear anything in there So it was, it was just too much smoke And the smoke cloud coming on us was horrible, you have to close your eyes and you just don't want to breathe. Burns everything. Yeah, I just wanted to leave, I was like, I need to leave. But then I was like, I need to see what this is also. <laughs> now we're on the top of the volcano and there's some grass and dead trees. And we're waiting for the smoke to clear up so we see the lake 
which I hope we, I hope we will see. From the top, we could see the huge toxic cloud and finally witness the size of the crater and the lake. The one kilometer wide turquoise lake is the largest highly acidic crater lake in the world. The clouds were playing with us, so we couldn't fully see its size, but the color was beautiful and the landscape around us looked very special, almost like we were on another planet. Where are we going now? Medial, yeah. Yeah. Down. <laughs> what time is it? 7.01. Earlier, because I got my periods here, I had to go there to do some business. It was great. Apparently every time we do volcano trips, something happens. Want to talk about it? No. <laughs> Finally, let's talk about the mining. Miners start working during the night and they work in rather dangerous and harsh conditions. They have no masks to protect themselves from the toxic smokes and most of them work in flip-flops. They carry between 70 to 90 kilos of sulfur on their shoulders, up the crater rim and then down for 3 kilometers. And they do the journey multiple times a night. We did the journey once with good shoes and gas masks and I would not have done it a second time. It rather touched us to see this and think that we were doing this out of entertainment while they were working. They get this yellow stuff from the... Sulfur from the volcano, and then they make it into tiny pieces. And I think it's sold for like little pieces for tourists like us, or they use it for cosmetics, yeah. medicine, he said, and something else. And our guide explained that they are paid around 1000 rupiah, which is what about six cent mm -hmm. per kilo, and they transport between 70 and 100 kilo, and they do it like four times. Kind of puts things into perspective. But we were not done yet and had to hike down the same way we came from, which took us quite a while and by this point we were really exhausted. We are still going down the mountain. My hair being crazy. Are you enjoying the way down? <laughs> no. We're Almost there. Happy to be there. Yes. I want to sleep. After another hour, we finally got back and were done with our adventure, which I think we'll never forget. We, we made it. High five. So exhausted. Is it 8? 8.29. We started at midnight. Woo, I want to sleep. I think later we have to take a bus. We'll see if we vlog this. If and not, oh. about... Potentially. Huh? About what? A boat. A boat, oh. Water, boat. Yes, Nico yes. on water. Sorry. Swimming, boat. Yeah, bus and potentially boat. Actually, a boat for sure, a ferry. And then maybe another boat. Anyway, maybe we vlog, maybe not. See you guys. Love you. Hi, everyone. Hello. We didn't vlog after Eden. Personally, I thought I was gonna die. Yeah, it was terrible. And the day just kept getting worse.